Meredith Morakovic, you can ask the first question or two. Luke, with the exception of DJ LeMahieu, the lineup last night looked very well like it could be an opening day lineup. Just what do you think of the bats in the Yankees lineup and what they're potentially capable of? Uh, it's stacked. Uh, unbelievable, guys. We got power from top to bottom, you know, mixing a little speed with, you know, uh, Judgy Hicks and Gardy. Um, it's, it's a lethal lineup, and, you know, it'll be fun to watch this year, and I, uh, I can't wait, no matter where I'm at in the lineup, to, to be a part of it. Understanding you didn't face Hap yesterday, but what did you think of both the starting pitchers in general, Hap and, of course, Clark Schmidt? Well, Clark made me look silly, so he did a really good job. Um, yeah, and Hap looked really good. Um, his, I think his cutter was one thing he's been working on that looked really good, and he's getting swing and misses on his changeup, and he's, he's using, uh, using his fastball up, which has uh, been a really effective, and I think that was something he used towards the end of the season last year and you know kept it rolling into you know spring and now summer camp. So they both look good, and uh, it's good to see guys. You know, I've got a couple of lives that these guys are, uh, have been ready to go, and you know, uh, I know they got the advantage right now, but uh, everyone's been looking pretty good. We can take the next question from Brian Hoke. Brian Hoke, you can unmute. Hey, Luke, how are you? What's up, man? Um, I think you told Meredith the other day that you dropped 13 pounds during quarantine. What did you do differently, and um, how do you think that'll affect you this season? Uh, the big thing uh, was really eating clean. Um, my wife did a great job cooking and, you know, kind of, I don't want to say meal prepping, but we always, it was not a lot of carbs, mostly uh, meat and vegetables. You know, I quit snacking late at night, and I, uh, you know, brought a lot of cardio to the table too, you know, um, making sure I'm getting cardio in two days a week and always running, you know, a mile and a half, two miles before every workout too. So um, it's just uh, being really strict and, you know, obviously, you know, trying to be not as many cheat meals on the weekends and just, uh, you know, I want to be really clean just to be a little bit quicker for this year and, uh, it, you know, it worked out really well. Take the next question from Jake Siner. Jake, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Luke. Uh, just want to ask, last night was the first time you got to kind of go through something like a game situation, both with the empty stadium, also with some of the new protocols. Can you just tell us a little bit about like what that experience was like, any learning curves, any hiccups, anything that you think might change in the routine? Just what was overall the experience like? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, the weirdest part is just walking out of the dugout when you're walking out to like stretch on the field. It's just no fans. You know, you're getting a little you know, ovation when you're running out or you get the guys out in right center field and right field, they're yelling at you. It's different, but um, it felt good to put the cleats on, the jersey back on, um, you know, get that game reps. You know, obviously it'll amp get amped up in the next couple more days. So, but it felt good. It, it wasn't weird to me. Kind of reminded me of college, you know, in the fall ball. But um, overall, uh, it was good and uh, it felt really good to be back out in Yankee Stadium again. We could take the next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, we saw you were one of the batters who hit against Cole when he had uh, the, when he was pitching at the stadium the other day. Can you tell us what that was like and what kind of feedback um, he wanted from you guys? Um, you know, <laughs> Cole kept saying to me, he's like, man, I took me like 15 pitches for me to finally get me off my slider. And um, it... His feedback is good. I mean, that guy would look like he was, you know, in mid-season form already. You know, he's locating. You know, the, the the thing with him is, you know, he'll he'll make a like a, a bad mistake, but that's like in the dirt. And then when his good pitches are elite pitches, and he doesn't miss, and he you know, um, they always say in the big leagues you get one pitch that a pitcher's going to miss, and it, I feel like I didn't. You know, I faced him five times, and I feel like I might have gotten one out of those five at bats, which is crazy. Um. He's doing good, man. He knows he does his homework on us, you know, and, you know, we're on his team. And, you know, we obviously faced him in the past, but, um, you know, he, he knows what he's doing up there, and it's, it's pretty impressive. How much of a benefit is it to have him now on your side instead of having to face him with another year? It's, uh, it's good. Even I, I clipped him last year, though, so it's, I got him. So and now I'm letting him get me, and he's in our squad. So, <laughs> but um, it's awesome, and I'm excited to, you know, learn from him, talk with him more. Uh, a lot of guys have gotten a lot of good feedback from him, so it'll be uh, awesome. He's going to be a good leader, and, um, you know, I'm glad I don't have to face him anymore, except for these next couple weeks, so we'll, it'll be fun. <laughs> Take the next question from James Wagner. James, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Luke, hope you're, uh, you and the family are doing well. <clears throat> I'm just kind of curious, like, what on or off the field has been 
most difficult to adjust to. I mean, not the Ouija, but I mean, like, sunflower seeds, stopping spitting, stop chewing, chewing, chewing gum, or yeah. moving your behavior away from the field. What has been the hardest for you in order to get the season going uh, to kind of change so far? Yeah, on the field, for sure, it's the uh, the spitting, and it's just human nature, obviously. I, whenever I, you know, I'm playing outside, whether it's golf, baseball, whatever, you know, it's common nature. You always, I always feel like I have seeds, too, which is weird not having that, not being able to pop bubbles, but... You know, we got to do what we got to do with that, um, you know, abide by the rules because I want to play. You know, it's nice to be back here and playing again. But, you know, off the field, it's it's nice. I got my wife here, so she's able to go to the store for me and, you know, get everything done. So, um, you know, I have to be out and about, you know, you know, trying to get, uh, you know, infected, I guess, by someone else. So um, everything's been going good. You know, it's nice to be here at the stadium, getting back in a good routine and, um, you know, kind of get away from what's going on in the world. It's nice to be back with the boys. So it's good. Thanks, James. Lindsay Adler, you're, you're next. If you can unmute, please. Hey, Luke. Good to see you. Um, kind of like what you were talking about with facing Cole, what type of feedback does he give you about what he sees when he's facing you? And I'm kind of curious just generally about feedback uh, in terms of facing your teammates. Um, I... I think a lot of the, the pitchers, and this goes not just with Cole, it's just, you know, they don't want to get us hurt, you know, throw up and in, you know, break a hand or, you know, hit us in the face or something like that. So I think they're a little, you know, timid. And, you know, I get it, too, because, I mean, you saw what Stanton did at Tanaka, so it goes both ways. But, um, uh, you know, he's he's honestly, Cole is the guy that's going to attack you like anybody else attacks you. He's going to attack your weaknesses, and that's what elite pitchers do, um, even – He's going to use his strengths, but his strengths are usually <laughs> a lot of other people's weaknesses. So um, he uh, he's going to pitch on both top and bottom of the zone, and uh, he's going to keep you uh, keep you guessing. Um, he's a guy you can't sit there and try to guess what's coming because he'll put you you know o two real quick or put you in an uncomfortable count to where you have no idea what's coming. And you know he's got you know three above average pitches, and now he's a corporate and changeup too, which is uh, pretty good. So. Um, uh, him, it's just a guy that you got to try to get ahead, um, you know, get behind the count so you can get a good pitch to hit. But he's also a guy that can dot a 2 0 slider. So it's it's something you just got to, you know, be ready for anything and, you know, make sure you're uh, on time. Next question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead. Luke, thanks for taking the time. I hope you're well. Um, Calling you a high energy guy on the field would probably be an understatement. How much of that is drawn from the fans? And how are you going to replace whatever they give you? How are you going to get so jacked up? <laughs> well, the fans definitely are a huge part of it. And, you know, we love every bit and hopefully they're back in the stands soon. But um, I'm always a guy that's going to be pranking guys, you know, having fun on the dog out, trying to make the good out of a bad situation. So. That part's easy for me because if I'm not having fun, then, you know, I, I shouldn't be here. So it's a little kid's game, and, you know, I'm a little kid at heart, so I'll always, always bring that every day. So thank you. Take a question from George King. George, if you can unmute, give it a whirl. Luke, how are you? Good, good. I know it's only an exhibition game, but how nice will it be to see another uniform for two games with the Mets? Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be good. Um, you know, it's it's a little different getting ready for these games. You know, it's you know you're playing against your own guys. It kind of feels like a practice. It doesn't feel like a game. So it'll be nice to, you know, I guess potentially maybe have umpires and you know it'll be the whole routine of getting ready. You know, going out there, having everybody in your dugout, not split dugouts. Um, it'll make it definitely more game like to where. It'll be like an expedition game almost, I feel like, like what we're going to do in Toronto, um, which will be nice to, you know, get us ready for, uh, for uh, Washington. So I'm excited for that part.